I mean, I don't really have valuables. <laughs> Ikea was the dude. I don't really know. And that's me, coming from a cheap place. Don't get depression. Count one, two, three. And don't you stop the music getting to it. Won't you dance with me? Find a place and lose it. You can do it. Won't you dance with me? Move your Hey y'all, what is up? It is Marissa Nicole and welcome back to my channel. Some of you may know me as My Drifting Desk where I help you conquer college and that's exactly what we're gonna do today at Target. If you're new to my channel and you don't know what is up right now, I'm posting a video every day for the month of August and for this first like week of August, I'm doing all dorm shopping videos. So happy August 3rd. Today we're going to Target to see what we can find here for a dorm or even a college apartment basically. Whatever we can find at Target, that's what I wanna show y'all. If you are new here, definitely consider subscribing down below and turning on your post notifications. That way you don't miss any fun college videos this month because it's gonna get hectic but it's gonna get fun we've already been to five below walmart and now we're here at target we have a couple other places planned but you'll have to wait and find out where we're going so basically all we're gonna do is walk around target see what they have i'm gonna show you things that i would buy what i would you know recommend or possibly how you could get these things cheaper somewhere else or what you should wait and buy from here versus getting something cheaper i'm just gonna give you some of my hacks and tips and tricks of dorm shopping let you know what we find here at target and maybe we pick up a few things my boyfriend griffin is going to be joining us once we get inside but he's not here right now but he'll pop in in a little bit maybe he'll give you guys some tips on what guys get for their dorms because i know i get some questions about that all the time some of my guy viewers will always comment and be like love this video but i'd love to see it in like a guy's version so i keep trying to talk to griffin to see if he'd be able to help me or make some sort of a video with me about a guy's version of a dorm if that's something that you know my guy viewers if you're one of these you may be interested in give this video a thumbs up like let me know down below if that's something you're interested in i will push griffin to do it if y'all really want it but let's go ahead and head inside and see what we can find hopefully we find Griffin <laughs> and some dorm stuff. I always start in the dollar spot because of course it's the dollar spot but there's this pink tray here that I do have so highly recommend cheap. They sometimes even have like shower caddies in the dollar spot and you'll obviously need one of these so like why not? They also have cork boards which is super cute. Here they have like you putting jewelry on it but obviously you can put like pictures whatever you want on them and it's only five dollars or a cute little board and it says to do fall over. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> we found Griffin. <laughs> Coming straight from Griffin himself. Black box. He bought one, I guess. He says it's a great thing. Yeah, because you can keep anything you use to travel with or whatever. I don't know. I just work here. Oh my gosh. He doesn't work here. <laughs> but also, I never had one, but it is a good idea. I mean, I don't really have valuables. <laughs> Except for you. And I can't fit in one. But you could get one. Obviously, we saw a bunch of these in the, like the five below spot, but they have obviously more expensive, nicer ones in the actual like office area. So you can get a whole bunch of markers or different kinds of things. I do have like a big calendar that's just a calendar. I think I have this one actually in my room that I hang above my desk all the time to help me keep organized. But they also have just generic like office and like desk decor slash organization. So they have like the little magazine holders that you could get to organize books. They have little like wire stuff to organize things on your desk. There's this little thing that you could put like your laptop on top of. They just have a lot of like organization and cute decor dual purpose items like this one is great because it acts as seating and, and storage. storage so you can forget so many things are in here first of all i've never seen anything like this i always see the chairs like this one which i highly recommend for your dorm but these like this is like a two-personer like that is so creative because like two people can sit on this so it's kind of like a couch but like dorm style i love this the singular chairs are only like 35 25 but the double chair is like 60 so obviously it's pretty much double but it seats double so it kind of makes sense target has a lot of like these neutral colored rugs if that's what you're looking for i prefer a color that's just me i like having like a pop of color but they do have natural colored rugs they have some of these cool little like QB things that everybody uses in their dorm some people will put them underneath their lofted bed or even use them next to it as like a mini nightstand those are super helpful so that way you can buy like the little fabric cubes you can get them cheaper potentially somewhere else like five below or even walmart but these these units are probably more stable than you would find at five below even if they offer them and do not buy this desk chair if you need it i have this one it sucks i tried to give it to him and didn't want it either it's just sitting in my room holding a backpack that i don't use <laughs> i bought a one of these i don't know what they're called but from ikea because they're super cute that's what i'm using as my end table in my apartment but they have kind of dupes here at target or maybe ikea was the dupe i don't really know who came first some sort of bedside caddy if your bed is going to be lofted is a necessity i have one both of my years and they were so helpful this one's like a hard one which i actually like mine was like bag style and it ended up breaking but that was my own fault not the manufacturers definitely floor lamps are great in your dorm that way you don't have to use the overhead lighting all the time and even recommend like a desk lamp because if your roommate's trying to get ready in the morning at like 8 a.m and you're still sleeping you don't want to turn on the big light get like a little tiny light that gives off enough light so you or your roommate could get ready without disturbing the other one you need a fuzzy blanket for the depression you're gonna have. 
<laughs> do not tell them they're gonna get depressed. They will. I mean, like besides the depression part, you do need a fuzzy blanket. Throw blankets and throw pillows just make your dorm feel more homey. So definitely get some, but don't get depression. I mean, nobody chooses, it just kinda <laughs> happens. That's true. <laughs> also, twinkly lights are so cute for dorm decoration. You can hang them up with like pictures or above your bed or literally anywhere. But they do have tons of different options if you want like string lights. Oh, ones with little like paper, I said paper clips. Just clips to hang pictures with. You can get normal pins. little Christmas lights or these little like fairy lights. We like neon lights are so cute and they can make your room like more personable. Give yourself personality. Yeah, make Kurzog yourself has unique. a donut. I had a toucan. Yeah, the toucan died though. Yeah, because that was our main source of light <laughs> for like three months. <laughs> these little lamps, like I said, definitely getting one to help you get ready in the morning, but also for like desk lighting. But these ones that have little compartments are great because it's dual purpose. And they honestly have little like plugs on them so you can plug other things into them, charge your phone. Like these lamps are super convenient. Husband pillows are a good addition so you can sit up in your dorm and read or do homework. Yeah, if you're single with a loser. <laughs> you were single all through college except for your super senior year. <laughs> Bedding is a good thing to get at Target, I think, because it's durable, but also like cheap while still being, you know, good quality, kind of expensive. I would honestly get my bedding here. I think I did. So twin XLs are great. That's what most of the dorm beds are going to be. Definitely get twin XL sheets, but a little trick for you if you want it to like hang over and kind of cover, you know, your underbed, if you're going to loft it, get a full comforter because that's what I did. I got a full comforter and that way when you move out of the dorms into an apartment, more than likely you're going to have a full bed and you can just use that comforter again. Mattress pads is definitely one of the things that I wouldn't go cheap on. You're going to be using these every single night in your dorm. Honestly, buy them from here or honestly, you can get them more expensive other places. But make sure they're thick, make sure they're comfortable because that's going to make or break your dorm. It's going to make it homey. It's going to make it great. I would definitely not go cheap on a mattress pad and that's me coming from a cheap person. They have tons of storage solutions between little like minimalist, modern, aesthetic, bins these little bins they got wire bins that you can organize you could use some of these as trash cans if you need to these ones are super good to use in like the shelves or like cubbies of closet areas they have smaller ones that you could use in your desk just so much organization command hooks 101 you're gonna need 101 of these basically this is the only thing you're gonna be able to use in your dorm get tons of them and you can reuse the actual like hooks that way all you need to buy are like the stickies again Another item that I would not go cheap on is a laundry basket. Try not to get those little like mesh ones that you carry around because those will rip and tear. Honestly, get a nice sturdy one. A one with wheels is awesome because then you can wheel it to and from the laundry I've been room. Using the same laundry basket with wheels since freshman year. So there you go. I actually bought this black one here because it was like aesthetic and this one is also good. It doesn't have wheels but it has this removable bag and it's kind of sturdier material than like the mesh ones you would find at five below. But this one I just take the bag out, take it to the laundry room, do my laundry, bring it back. So this is also a good option. Like these ones, I would 100% stay away from these ones. These ones are going to tear and break so easily. Just get a good one. My roommate brought one of these freshman year, never once touched it. Don't bring one unless you actually iron clothes like on a daily basis, which if you're in college, you're probably not. It just takes up unnecessary room. Don't waste your money. I have one of these carts. This is really handy. I actually bought it from here and then I have one of like the, this one from Ikea. It's that one. I got this one from Ikea, but then I have this one from Target, which work really well. But also highly recommend getting big tubs like this and utilizing your under bed area. At least loft your bed halfway. That way you can shove as much crap under there as you can because you're gonna have a lot of stuff fitting in a 20 foot square foot little dorm room. Also for under bed storage, like these things are great, even if you're not using like the big tubs, because of course that can be hard to like go through on a daily basis, but just pulling these out, making sure that you have little active wear, sleep wear, whatever. I bought one of these my freshman year, still have it and then I also have one of like the smaller ones like this one and they're great to hold like underwear, socks, sports bras, bras. But using these, I use these my sophomore year, even a longer one. They have little shoe holders like that. Those are great ideas. You can get them at five below but they also have them here possibly for better quality. Boys, garment bag, even if you just have like one suit, put it in the garment bag, trust me. <laughs> and honestly places like these are good, even Walmart to get some hangers if you need new hangers, if you need regular Begula ones, but also ones like these are super helpful because you can hang up multiple items on one hanger, maximizing space. Accessory hangers like this are great because you can hang scarves or other things in them and only take up, you know, a minimal amount of space. If you can't loft your bed, these are great. It's like bed risers, that way it adds basically an extra eight inches underneath your bed so you can utilize as much under bed storage as you can. Some of them even have like outlets on them so you can like plug in your phone and stuff and that is super handy. I think we've hit everything in Target so I think we're gonna go back out to the car and we will check in with you there. 
sorry for this awful lighting but we definitely just wanted to check in with y'all before we left Target I think they had some pretty good stuff this year they definitely had a lot of new items that they didn't have last year especially like that double seating chair was definitely my favorite like if I was going back in the dorm I would buy that she doesn't shut up about that chair. I think it's amazing, y'all, okay? And honestly, they do have better <laughs> deals than what you could potentially get somewhere else. I hope you get to find some cool items at your Target. Again, some of them may be different. There may be more items for you when you go. That's just kind of what I saw when we went here. We could be a little early if there's more stuff when you go. I don't really know. If you like this video and you want to come shopping with us again, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, yeah. let me know down below like when your move-in date is because it's coming up. And I'm just so curious on when everybody gets to move in. I love move-in day. I wish I could be a freshman again. That's where Griffin and I met was freshman year. We lived in the same dorm. She didn't text me back. <laughs> but here we are. We're good. Love you. <laughs> Yeah, it's been great. <laughs> if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed yet, you definitely should. Also turn on post notifications because like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm posting a video every day in August, sometimes two on Fridays. So you don't want to miss out. Click that little notification bell that way you get notified every time I post a video here in August and you know, forever. But if you're posting every day, they don't really need notifications. But like, when do I post? They don't know when it's coming. It's like, bam, surprise. You need you're to know. too OCD to not post at the same time every day. You should still do it. Love you. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Sunset high and a party